joyous feast of our Lord's Ascension. Right? We celebrate daily Vespers in the midst of the feast. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. <clears throat> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with lightness with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered to the deep as with a garment the water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which you appoint for them. You set a bound which they should not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast to the field the wild asses quench their thirst. By then the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the seed is of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the season, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom, have you made them all? The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships of Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> da, 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 da. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy, mercy for the peace.
peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those desiring to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed and metropolitan deacon, book of tenants of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonal weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from <coughs> affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth time, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O oh Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you, hear me, O oh Lord, let my Sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. In my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, shall mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. You suffered as a man, O Christ our God. You rose on the third day, despoiling death, raising with yourself all those who held fast in corruption. You ascended to the Father, promising to send the Comforter to your apostles. O Almighty Jesus, the Savior of our souls. For your name's sake, I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Why do you stand gazing into heaven, cried the angels? who appeared as men to those you had instructed in your mysteries. He will come again in the same way as he said. He will come to judge the world. Go and perform all that he taught. From the morning watch of the night, from the morning watch in Israel, hope on the Lord. After your rising from the tomb, O Almighty Lord, you took your friends to the Mount of Olives, leading them to Bethany, you blessed them. There you ascended upon mighty angels, O Jesus Almighty, the Savior of our souls. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Beholding the beauty.
beauties of paradise, greatly delighting in the flowers of incorruption. You bud forth the knowledge of God for the world. We partake of this, O venerable Isaac, with spiritual love, bringing growth to our souls. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise Him, all peoples. O Father, you protected your body with abstinence, with your prayers and vigils. Thus you killed the unruliness of the passions. Therefore your teachings have enlightened the faithful to bless the Father, the Son, and the consubstantial Spirit. For his mercy is confirmed in us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Like the sun from the desert, you shone forth upon the city, O Father. You adorn the monastic life, therefore your teachings have enlightened the faithful to bless the Father, the Son, and the whole substantial Spirit. In the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today the angels behold our nature in heaven. They were amazed by its mysterious ascension. They said to each other, Who is this that comes? When they saw it was their own master, they commanded the heavenly gates to live. With them we praise you who ascended in the flesh. The Judge of all and Almighty God. O gladsome light of the Holy Glory of the Immortal Father, Heavenly, Holy, Blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and beheld the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore, O the world glorifies you. Wisdom, let us attend the evening prokemenon is in the seventh tone. You, O oh God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. You, O oh God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from evildoers, and save me from violent men. You, O oh God, are my helper. How they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, O Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Father God, you, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. But I will sing of your strength in the morning, I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. O my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O God, are my fortress, my loving God. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. 
without sin, O Lord, you keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise. To you belongs glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer <clears throat> to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto you, Christ our God. To you, Lord. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks. Awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. <laughs> Fulfilling, O good one, the good will of the Father, uniting earth with heaven, you ascended in glory to your eternal abode. Clap your hands, O people, shout to God with loud songs of joy. You went up, O bountiful one, to your Father, whom you never left, raising up, O Master, the nature which had fallen below. God is going up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. A cloud of light lifted you into the highest, with fear and trembling, all the powers of heaven, Hasten to serve your divine majesty. In the seventh tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In your mercy for men, you came to the Mount of Olives. A cloud lifted you from before the eyes of the disciples. They were filled with trembling, beholding the sight, but rejoiced in expectation of the Holy Spirit. Confirm us in Him, O Savior, and have mercy on us. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation. 
Would you ever pray every for the face of all people, O Lord, to alight in the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel? Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities by your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. You were a model of abstinence and a foundation of the church. O Isaac, bright light of the fathers, for your life was radiant with virtues, and you openly proclaimed the Orthodox faith. O righteous Father, pray to Christ God to grant us his great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. You have ascended in glory, O Christ our God, granting joy to your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through the blessing, they were assured that you are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan deacon, our local companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House. For all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the minded Archpriest Nicholas, the Archpriest Paul, Matrish Kanina, the servants of God, Alan, Jasmine, Stephen, George, Annabelle, Huda, Jennifer, and Peggy, and who hear and in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, light, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those suffering for their Orthodox faith, for those lying on a bed of sickness in need of healing, especially the priest James, Matryoshki, Natasha, Anastasia, and Macrina, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, James, and Marie, and those known to be suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Nona, Deborah, Elizabeth, Gabriel, Olga, Carol, Ann, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Arcady, Natalie, and Michael, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Oh Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith 
in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and unto you we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them, and the military reserves supporting them. We pray also for those developing vaccines and treatments <clears throat> and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Father bless. Christ our God, existing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May he who ascended to sit at the right hand of God the Father for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the prayers of your most pure mother, of our holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our holy glorious and laudable apostles, of Saint Isaac the founder of the Dalmatian Monastery at Constantinople, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Joyous feast day once again. Uh, we will be celebrating this weekend uh, services for the seventh Sunday of Pascha, commemorating the uh, Holy Fathers of the First Ecumenical Council with Vespers on Saturday evening at 5 p.m. and our Obednitsa with the Molyevin for the end of our church school year on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. So please join us. God bless and be with you in the coming day.